Hey guys, um, I just wanted to do a quick video on Terran Solo, but also in this video I'm actually going to include um, kind of um, the thought process uh, that I think that you should go through if you're trying to achieve, you know, um, higher and higher levels in Solo, um, just because you can really start to benefit and get, um, improving your damage a lot in the spider events if you can get to that four and five star gear and then eventually to even complete the solo so I'm just going to kind of add some extra pointers um, on kind of my recommendations on what it would take to, to and how how I've achieved um, to get to the end uh, with several of the heroes so far and how I'll continue to do that and just some recommendations there so first off like I always do is let's look at the ascension tree this um, time so um, I think it's um, definitely the musts are um, Valkyrie for the, because of the speed. We are in gold week, so um, you probably don't have as much ascension as I do, uh, just because I kind of pushed hard this time and um, got to the end of the last event and also did pretty good in one of the Capture the Flag events. So what I kind of recommend maybe doing is skipping um, this guy right here because he's not really needed. You're going to use the Undead Raid instead if, because less uh, mana. Um, and then just going this, and then here maybe take, um, you need Magic Construct in my opinion, so I would go probably this top half if you don't have that much Ascension. And then um, the other question is, so a lot of people don't know this, or you may have found out this time, but if you don't have the Mythical card, you actually can't progress up this tree. So if you don't have Vendor, um, you won't be able to get Phase Assassin, um, but Phase Assassin is, is a huge um, help if you if you do have Vendor. So um, I would probably go, you know, from the um, Swordsman, to the Archer, to um, the Reflector, to Magic Construct, to Vinder, then to um, Phase Assassin. So in my opinion, if you can, if, if you had to choose, because you don't have the Ascension points, um, because um, how good the reduction of mana is with Magic Construct, so as long as you have Vinder, I would probably try to go the, the Magic Construct Phase Assassin route, uh, it, instead of the um, Valkyrie, um, but it, let's just say you don't have uh, Vendor, then maybe I'd, I'd still try to go for Valkyrie and Magic Construct, just because you're going to get a lot of benefit from from the, those with Terran, because uh, especially the spells you're going to be using for Terran. So, perfect. Okay, so then the next thing, of course, or actually let's go always to uh, the things of importance, so we're going to go to our gear here. Um, so... As always mentioned, don't just equip best because um, usually they'll prioritize portal health over movement speed, and you don't really want that. So I just want to go here um, just to kind of show. So um, this right here, these are the spells you're going to use for sure, definitely. Um, so that's Raw's Power. Um, and then you're going to use Healing Wave because they're the only two that really benefit you. So a couple callouts here is... Level 2, you get an increase in movement speed, and I'll show you kind of uh, why that comes into play, uh, kind of a strategy you can use. And then as long as your um, Raw's power is, you know, um, if you're level 6 hero, uh, you'll benefit from the cooldown reduction. So I'll show you kind of a, um, a technique that's used to, to benefit more from, from uh, for, for the solo event, and actually even also the group. So um, another thing to, that's really important to note is you kind of have to pay attention to what minions you're using. So this is the setup I'm actually using for solo this time. Um, and yes, I have some five stars on Wildo and whatever, but um, definitely, you know, you've seen my other guides, uh, you know, make sure you have power and siege on your left hand, your um, chest and your boots, and also minion ability is important if you have Bloodstalker and Soul Leech. Um, but yeah, so um, Anyway, so uh, why it's important for you to kind of know where your minion levels are is because um, your Raw's power will reduce, um, you know, them to, since mine's 11, it will make make them the maximum of 11, 11. So um, knowing that helps you because I wouldn't maybe necessarily want to use it. So I would maybe, you know, definitely think about using it more on the Fearless Leader because that's the, the level 11, 11, 11. Versus, you know, some of the other ones, especially like, you know, this is a 13, so I'd be sacrificing two whole levels um, if I use the, the hand for, for Valkyrie. So it's just these little small thought processes that you need when you're, you know, a 7 uh, hero level or an 8, um, if you're going to try to push and make it 
to you know the higher highest levels of of the uh, of the event, right? So um, really, the the secret to getting to the end is you know uh, you know spending gems, really. Um, so there's a couple of ways to do that. Um, the most cost-effective way to try to push this is unfortunately losing sleep um, because every three hours is a reset and then at the beginning the very first minute you can also get an extra round of scrolls right if you do that um, if you do that in the first uh, minute so um, basically there's 27 if you include that uh, that one every three hours if you got every single one there's 27 times that you'll be able to collect scrolls and whatnot so um, Basically, you want to look at how far you want to progress and what your level's at and like kind of make some decisions. So I think a great goal for a lot of people who are not, you know, sevens and eights um, is actually to, like, let's just say you're six. If you did, you know, one extra of the torches and one extra of the each scroll other than just the free one each time, um, then you, 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 you probably can... If you're six and you have perfect gear, you can probably um, push to this 70. And this 70 is a big marker because if you can get to 70 every time, you'll benefit from the 1,590 gems that you'll get along this path. So that's why I think that's a real big goal when trying to improve and trying to get because the smash damage is really what you know progresses you in this. And um, for me at a level seven, which I'm luckily going to be an eight here um, pretty soon, for me to get to the end, um, um, because I have five star gear, I can probably go here. I kind of have like a spending, um, oops, one second here, kind of have a spending chart essentially. So if you just did free, that's like the top one. You'd only have 81 torches if you got the free ones extra at the beginning and you'd only have like 54 of each, which is not a whole lot of resources, but if you, and this is like I said, the recommended this, this can probably get you to 70 and still let you contribute in group. Um, and it's, it's, you know, pretty expensive so over the whole course of the weekend if you did this it'd be 2970 gems total uh, which is expensive but it gives you look at like way more resources to be able to try to push those levels right um, and then if you're like moderate to heavy so this is actually the one I'm doing right now so I'm a seven I'm going to be an eight and my goal for this one is to at least get the five star gear at 79 so I also benefit from um, you know the 65 uh, green torches to help a group um, I probably could um, push if I you know totally gave up on um, my, my my guild and went only solo, which I strongly don't recommend. I could probably push with with this option with my current power. Uh, I could probably push to the end, but I would be sacrificing helping you know the guild, whereas I can help a lot once I get my five star um, and still have you know definitely enough resources to to help a lot in the event so that's probably the route i'm going to be taking um now if you're a seven and you're not going to progress to eight or if you're a six and you don't have five star gear at all or even four star gear the only way you're really going to get to the end is if you do this route which is the two extra torches uh you'd have to have perfect gear and um so it's two extra torches each you know each three hours and then you'll also have to do you know the two extra of each resource so um that's, I mean, he, and even if you go this route, it's not guaranteed. Like, like we have a Terran and Gold Week, and there's some good Ascension options, so that's why I think it's viable for, you know, someone with, who's a 7 who doesn't have 4 or 5 star gear to still make it. Um, but just, just you know, like, I mean, that's, that's a lot of gems to spend, but, I mean, well, if you want to try to push to the end of solo, that's, that's kind of where you're going to be at until you can get to be, you know, hero level 9 or you can get, you know, all the five star gear so i think you should definitely just work um depending upon what level you're at work uh towards that 70 so, so you can make sure that you're getting the full benefit the 1590 hero shards every single with every single hero every single time and hopefully you can still then help in group as well right and then once you you know over time you'll build up your hero level and then you can get stronger and then you know you can start to push to get the five star artifact here um, but basically this is so in this section right here is where it gets crazy right so if you look here um i think that's 6.1 mil but then the next one is where it jumps so you will have to actually be 10 mil for 60 or 76 77 78 and then it just you know basically also just continues to get worse 
uh, but like still, so you're in your like 10 mil and even 14 mil at 81. So, so here's your five star gear. This is where I'll be stopping gear. This 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 event just because then I can still help in group. Um, but um, I, you'll you'll notice a big damage increase if you can get there. And uh, I mean that's kind of since the game hasn't really had anything new other than this type of stuff. Uh, this is kind of what what I enjoy farming for and whatnot. So, um, but anyway, I, I hope this tutorial at the beginning. I know it's kind of long, but helps you kind of with the thought process and what you need. And then also, I just want to go over some gameplay. So I'm going to actually play through a couple levels. Um, 31 minutes, so I always check your time first. If I didn't think I could beat this in one go, then I would maybe wait. Um, but you always want to check where you're starting first, and then how many torches you have, and then always check when your next reset is, just to make sure that you're guaranteed to go th to the next level, because as you progress, you could you know have to spend... you know five torches ago or ten torches ago depending upon how far you are and how strong your guy is so so um the reason i'm not using um valkyrie in this or sorry commander in this one is because the problem is i mean i'm having a lot of spam so i'll be using the undead raid i have two of them and the only reason i even have this for terran is because of the raw's power as well as the ascension with the magic construct if I, if, if I didn't have those, I definitely wouldn't be even using these um, Undead Raid, but because, you know, Terran's got a lot of this going on, um, it's it's definitely advantageous. Uh, the other thing is make sure, like I said, you don't quit best. I definitely swapped out this. I have boot, My other boots have um, portal health, and it will prioritize those over it. But other than that, I'm going to choose this setup um, and go for it. So um, definitely you want to have two Fearless Leader for the, smash, or for the um, splash damage. And, uh, yeah, so this is definitely the setup we want to do. So the, the play tactics and how I recommend doing this is, so be, is, as long as you're a Terran 6, then you'll at least have, and um, I, tr I try not to use resources unless I absolutely have to. So the reason I picked this lane is because I'm going to try to smash both these before, before it spawns. And then you lay your heal. The reason you lay your heal is because then you can put the... Uh, the raw's power and it will reduce the cooldown of the next one substantially right so you'll see i'm going to just go here and then i'm going to hopefully benefit from bloodstalker i'm not too worried about those red ones we'll see what happens but i'm going to keep a strong eye on my portal but i should be fine and if i would get that worried i'll just throw this out there you know delay them a little bit and i should be fine right so um i'm pretty like my guy's pretty powerful but see how i didn't i didn't use any uh scrolls at all and I only had to use one torch. So that's the, like, the really the goal here is uh, it's a win when you can do that, right? Um, at, at some point in time, you are going to have to use a fire scroll at the beginning because you will get overrun. Um, but that's why I just keep, I try to be as conservative as I possibly can. Um, I could be less conservative if I was a nine, but like, see how there's eggs here? I'm not too yet scared of the eggs because I, my, my minions still um, overpower the level, right? So I'm not too, too, too worried about it yet, right? So as I mentioned here, I'm going to lay this and then this. And then I, I keep an eye on, so I should have maybe put Fearless Leader out there, but um, because the Undead Raid is a, a more costly spell, um, I wanted to benefit from the raw sand, even though I lost, you know, some of those are now 11s instead of 12s, but, but it was just worth it for me. So, um, uh, and why you, uh, want to blow the, uh, wave first is because it helps you speed down the lane. And also once you then put the raw's power, it will reduce the 10 second cooldown. So you'll get it back quicker. So you'll get down the lane faster and then you'll have it quicker. So, um, it just, there's these kind of tactics is like, what what makes you be efficient and what makes you like kind of progress to the next level i mean i mean i, I do it my my terran this is probably my best hero in terms of power if you see i'm at um two th 218,000, which is like i said my best um and when i get the five star um belt or whatever you call this thing sash um it's gonna be even better so looking forward to that i love terran's play style it's awesome i'm just gonna play one more though just going to show you the play tactics again. Also, still not yet scared of these these um, eggs. Why I like Trinity is because of this right here. Perfect example. She just does a good job. So, yeah, she dies there, but watch. So now I'm going to go here. I'm going to use this. Still, I should be okay. I got, I got Ascension on her, so see, I, I still just tanked it, right? 
tanked it. Those slow down the the only threat, which is the red. The red you do have to be careful with uh, the reds. They will get you. But I mean, to be honest, I mean, I got this. I think they haven't even got down the whole lane, and I got 20 seconds left. So yeah. So yeah, once again, not too worried about the red eggs yet. Now there will be, like I said, a point where that changes. And also, there will be a point where I, d I can't clear this in one go. And you're looking really closely at that point because, you know, that's where you got to watch. I only have three torches left, and if I was worried about getting there, I'd just make sure that, one, the reset, this next reset, just in case I didn't make it, I would have enough so I didn't have to spend, the, you know, the, the 100 uh, gems. So you just got to be very mindful of what you're doing and just, you know, watch your gameplay. But um, if you kind of play it like this, um, maybe I'll make another video when I get to the higher levels just because the resource management is a lot different at that at that point. So we'll see. We'll see what happens here, but I'm, for, for the most part, I'm still just... I'm just going to keep on keeping on. All right, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to use this. I'm hoping that uh, these, depending upon how they fall... Um, so yeah, I, I have quite a bit of reds here, so I could run into a little bit of problem with that. I'm going to be a very close eye because there's, there's a lot of threats coming my way. So we'll see. If I have to use something, I will, but I'm going to try not to. If I have to, they're, they're going at it. I'm just going to do, just to be safe, blow it. One fire scroll, big deal. So, you know, made that decision later on. I probably would have survived, but... I'd rather not have to waste another torch, right? It's only the cost of one fire. So anyway, um, I might make a video, like I said. Uh, the only thing I'm going to really swap out uh, when I go to group is I'm going to probably swap out the Scourges for the Soul Leech. But that's really the only change I'm going to make. So I uh, hope this video is helpful as always, guys, and enjoy. Uh, happy spider, spider event.